What's good, yo? We back with another video. No, you're not having a deja vu moment. B dot goon out of Cortland got locked up once again, and this time he didn't catch any additional charges. If you remember last time I talked about B dot goon, he got locked up last month for attempted murder charge, and he had a previous 2021 attempted murder charge. And he's been going to court every month since then, since 2021. He's called the gatekeeper of the courthouse for a reason. He's up there all the time. And that's because he has two attempted murder charges he's facing. But getting into this new arrest, Shai K posted to his Instagram saying, Free at B.Goon. Looking at his inmate lookup right now, you can see it. August 23rd, 2022 is when he got picked up. And he did make bail. Um, a $250,000 bond, and if you don't know how bail and bonds work, you usually have to pay 10% of that, which is $25,000, and if you don't, he looks like he's going to have to sit until October 12th is the next court date, and he didn't get no additional charges, but the one charge he did have for the 2022 attempted murder charge, I told y'all last time that they just throw a whole bunch of charges at the wall, and he had a whole list of them. He had like 10 plus charges. They ended up taking it all the way down to one. The only charge being... The biggest one attempted murder but just goes to show like i said they just throw anything out of wall and hopes it sticks in the very end when you go to trial or you enter a plea deal and like i said i'm super confused on why he got picked up again he got no additional charges it looked like he didn't take no charges for people or anything and i don't know why the court would just re-pick him back up it looks like a situation where the court might just be taking advantage of shy k's record deal they want him to keep paying for these bails and hey we'll keep, keep gonna try to get money out of these rappers i really don't know like i said i think it's really a war these drill rappers versus the police the da and the court system i really do i really think odds are really stacked against these drill rappers that's why i try to make my videos to bring awareness to this situation because there's no reason b that got picked up there's no additional charges to him again i don't know what he got picked up for or why they arrested him maybe it's something way deeper than what i know what we know but i'm just saying that this looks crazy. I'm tired of seeing this. I'm tired of seeing people get locked up, drill rappers get locked up, and I'm tired of drill rappers just sitting in the hood thinking it's going to change. It's going to keep happening. NYPD is going to keep doing this to drill rappers as much as they can as long as they keep letting it happen. I try to make these videos. I'll try to act like no one's dad or try to act like no one's pops and try to tell them what to do, but I just, like, I'm tired of seeing these drill rappers go down this rough lane of constantly getting harassed by the police and it just keep happening that's why i just try to give advice to them because from the outside looking in these rappers just keep throwing their lives away getting picked up going in and out of jail and i hate seeing it, it just seems like a constant cycle that these rappers especially in the bronx i've never seen this many people get locked up at a certain time with so much talent locked up already i thought y'all would learn by now again in these videos i give my opinion just to give y'all a different perspective and like I said before, I ain't studied criminal justice or I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know. Maybe he did get picked up for the same charge and he can be. I don't know. And with that being said, I just hope y'all drill rappers start moving way smarter, more safer. I don't know if y'all just hang out the window with the prop or what, because like y'all just keep being arrested. Y'all just need to stop at y'all's red lights, stop the stop signs, use y'all's turn signals so they, can't, so they don't have a reason to pull y'all over. Y'all let me know what y'all think, and don't don't get too hard on BDOT because we don't know his situation. We don't know how he got locked up, and most of the time, it's probably just the court just trying to lock someone else up to get more money out of Shy K because they know he has money. Um, taking advantage of a young kid with a lot of talent that signed a major record deal. It's sad to say, but again, we don't know what he's locked up for. So, free beat out goon. I'm going to get up through a pretty sharp rock with me. Keep doing y'all. Keep doing me. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Good.